Hey guys, I'm back sorry for the delay and I'm so sorry for not uploading for a week. I've been busy but today I am doing an angst hehe. I'm gonna be hurting you all so sorry in advance. This is again, a boy x boy so if you are uncomfortable, you may leave. I also do not own the characters personalities. I just made them like that because I think that's what suited them most. Anyways, on to the video. Enjoy. Sakusa and Atsumu are best friends. Despite being in separate school, they met at a volleyball competition where they went against each other's team. Atsumu's team loses the match. He then approached Sakusa making a statement that the next time they meet, they will be the one losing. Little by little they started talking and eventually became best friend. Hey, Omi. Omi Omi I. Omi I. Omi. What you're being extra annoying. Bish. How rude. Seriously though, what do you want? I'm cleaning. Aren't you always sad pensive face? What do you want? Can you accompany me to the mall? No. Hey aren't you supposed to be asking what it's for? Why would I be asking when I'm just gonna say no face with rolling eyes? Oh. Come on. Please. Atsumu's puppy eyes that Sakusa can't resist. Fine. What's it for anyways? I wanna buy something. And that something is? You weren't curious before so stop asking me. That was before. Get back to cleaning. We'll meet at 2.30 don't be late k. As if face with rolling eyes. Bye. Omi I two hearts. Yeah. Red heart. Sakusa turned off his cell phone and smiled. He was used to Atsumu being annoying and clingy but to him. He was never a bother. Actually. He was hiding a secret from his best friend. Sigh. Why do I like you? Aren't you just supposed to be my best friend? I know you're gay. But do I even stand a chance? Because they were each other's best friends. They both knew each other's sexuality. I should probably just get ready. Sakusa then cleaned his room faster and went to shower. <laughs> Meanwhile, with Atsumu. The reason why Atsumu didn't tell Sakusa why he was going to the mall is because he was planning to get a gift and give it to Sakusa. Atsumu also liked Sakusa but of course, he didn't knew. He then asked some of his friends on what to do in this situation. Some were agreeing with what Atsumu was feeling. The fear of being rejected by your best friend. But they also convinced Atsumu to just confess. We will be here for you. Atsumu was what his friends always say. So he just went for it. The reason why he couldn't tell his Omi Omi why they are going to the mall is because of his problem. Confessing. I'm going Samu. Okay. I'll be over to Sooners. Take the key with you. Did you already take yours? Of course. Idiot. You're so mean. Samu. Don't care. HMP. K. Bye. Sakusa is never late. Especially when it's a day with his best friend. He waited for Atsumu to arrive so he just sat at the bench far from the crowd. And of course. Before taking a sit he wiped it with a wet towel. Omi I. Atsumu shouted from a distance. Shut up you're embarrassing me. Nua. You're lucky to be friends with me. Bruh. Yeah. Friends. Sakusa looked at the ground with a sad look on his eyes. Omi I what's wrong? It's nothing. So what did you want to do? Um. Let's go to a cafe far from crowds of course. MHM. Okay. They then got inside the cafe which only had a few costumers that made Sakusa relieved. What do you want to order? Omi. Black coffee. You. What? That's bitter. It's not. It is. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is. Hello sir. What would you like to order? I'll have a black coffee. Ugh. I'll have the chocolate chip frappuccino. Okie dokie. I'll bring your drinks in about 15 minutes. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. So, what are we really doing here? I'm just looking for something that's all. Is that really all? Yes. Omi Omi I already told you. Um. Okay. Their orders arrived. They took their drinks and went outside to walk while taking a sip. So what now? Let's just have fun. Omi Omi. You're strange today. Just go with it. Fine face with rolling eyes. They spent the entire day hanging out. In other people's perspective they are like a couple on a date. Sadly, they aren't. Everyone knows that they like each other except them. Hey, Omi. Yeah? No, never mind. What's wrong, Achu? 
I was planning on confessing. What? Why yeah. Um. It's someone I'm close to. Oh. Uh, do I know that person? I I guess. Why are you telling me this? Oh. Uh, you're my best friend what do you mean? Yeah. Right. Friends. And I wanted to ask your opinion on how to confess. I don't know how cause I have never confessed once. Oh. Uh, can I go home? I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well. Are you alright? Yeah. Sorry Achu. It's okay. Let's go. Thank you. There was an awkward silence surrounding them. Sakusa's heart actually sank the moment Atsumu told him that he likes someone who isn't him. The thought of it scares Sakusa. What if Atsumu won't be able to hang out with him because he'll be spending more time on his boyfriend? What if they stop being friends? Kusa? Huh? This is my station. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. I'll be going. Thank you for today it was really fun. Omi. Yeah. It was fun. I guess. Bye. Omi be careful on your way home. Yeah. Bye Achu. In Atsumu's home. Sigh. I couldn't confess. Okura and the others will be mad and disappointed. Maybe I should ask them on how to do it again. This time. I won't fail. In the let's get Atsumu to confess group chat. Hey. Ladies. Yahoo. How did it go? Yeah. What happened? Are y'all dating now? Hi guys. Shoyo smiling face with hearts. Kenma heart with stars. No. Uh. I couldn't confess. I'm sorry. Shitsumu face. What why loudly crying face? What happened? Sad core face. I couldn't find the courage to do so sad pensive face. Raised hand. Sorry y'all. It's okay. We don't want to force you. Yeah. We'll wait till you're ready. Unless. Kora. No. What it's a great idea I promise. That's a lie. Lol. I agree. Brew. Brew. What is it? Kora. Surprise him to his school. Yup. It was stupid. How? They're literally a train away. PFFT a train away. So? Tsumu has no class tomorrow. Yeah. We actually have an event going on. Lucky face with big pleading eyes. Don't be sad my child. So please listen to me just this once face with big pleading eyes. What do y'all think? You can give it a try. Yeah. It's okay I guess. I don't trust it. But he won't shut up so you go. I guess. Just be careful. I'll handle. Samu. You guys face with big pleading eyes. Okay then. I'll do it. I won't back up this time. They all wished Atsumu good luck. In Sakusa's school. Hey, why are you so down? It's break time and didn't you just had a date with your unrequited love? Yeah. Keep rubbing it in my face. Lol. Sorry. It's just fun seeing you suffer. Foo. No cursing. I don't even have the energy to argue with you. You never win anyways. I always do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're arguing with me now. Doesn't that mean I win? Ugh. Damn you. Sakusa being done with his cousin. Kekakik. Shut up. So what's the matter? Achu. He. Atsumu was walking in the hallway of Sakusa's school. He knows how crazy this is. Some student even recognize him but is too shy to approach him. He then tried asking some students where his Omi Omi's room is located at. It was a good thing that Sakusa was popular along with Komori that the students immediately knew where their classrooms were. He was about to knock when he heard Sakusa and Komori talking. They were alone inside the classroom. He didn't mean to eavesdrop but he knew that he couldn't just interrupt their conversation. So he just listened. I'd be really happy if someone were to get together with Tsumu. He's always bothering me. But we're friends. I'm happy that we're close but it's just hard taking care of him. You know. It's like I'm obligated to take care of him because he acts like a child and he's my best friend. But I just sometimes wish that someone takes care of him. One who's not me. Atsumu's heart sank. So that's what he felt. I'm sorry for being a burden. I guess. I'll just have to let you go was what he was thinking in his mind. He turned around and left. Not bothering to show his self and his omi omi again. Oh. So you really didn't have feelings for him before? Yeah. What about now? Well. Compared to what I said earlier. I just realized that I was so stupid to think like that. The more time we spend together. The more I want to take care of him. I want to cuddle him and hide him away from all the germs and disgusting people. 
I want to badly kiss him. And I don't want to be his best friend. I want to be his boyfriend. Damn. Kamori. I like him so much to the point that I want to try and change for him. I want to get rid of my germophobia. Kamori's eyes widened by what Sakusa said last. He never once said that. He did consider getting rid of his phobia but he wasn't this eager. You love him. Chaos. What? You don't like him. You love him. Sigh. I guess. I do. I really really do. Go for it. I just told you he's planning on confessing to someone. And? It's not like you're stealing him. You'll regret it even more if you don't tell him how you feel. What if I ruin our friendship? I'm scared. Who isn't we're all scared but at some point we've got to take the risk and go for it. Are you sure? Of course. And don't worry I think you have a chance. You're not just saying that right? Of course not. I see the way he looks at you. I think he's gonna confess to you. Thank you. Kamori. Anytime. Kamori being a sweet angel and cupid. Now go plan something. What? Go plan something. Idiot. H help me. K. Sadly. Atsumu didn't hear all of their conversation. He left when Sakusa was describing how he feels towards him before. In the let's get Atsumu to confess grub chat. I give up. What happened? He doesn't feel the same way. Are you sure did you talk to him? What did he do? I'm sorry. I kinda want to be alone. Oh. Uh, okay. Just remember that we're here for you. Tsumu. Thank you guys. Good night. It's 318. Shh. Atsumu turned his phone off. He was happy and thankful for all of his friends but he just didn't want to deal with it. He was crying. He buried his face into his pillow. Suddenly, there was a notification. He thought it was from Sakusa or his brother, Osamu Zatsunas, but it wasn't. Tsumu? Kita-san. Why? I heard from Suna. Are you okay? I'm fine. You can talk to me. Thank you. Kita-san. But I'm alright. Ice cream and Netflix? Yes. Please face with big pleading eyes. I'll be there at 10. Thank you. Kita-san. No problem. Some some. When Kit arrived at Atsumu's house, he was shocked to see Atsumu so gloomy. His eyes were swollen and red from crying. His cheeks even had some stains because of his tears, and his hair was all messed up. Atsumu. Atsumu sniffles and Kita didn't fight the urge to hug him. Atsumu was shocked but hugged back. He felt like he was about to cry again but he resisted. You can cry. Atsumu. I'm here. And with that, Tsumu let out all of his tears into Kita's shoulder. He said all the things Sakusa mentioned and sobbed. At that moment, Kita's priority is to never let anyone hurt Tsumu again. He was too precious and fragile for that. Hey, Tsumu let's go eat ice cream and watch your favorite movie. Okay. Oh okay. Once Atsumu calmed down, he and Kita watched and ate ice creams together. Atsumu cuddled with Kita. Hey, Kita-san? And what is it? Some some? Can I yawn sleep in your arms? Sure. Thank you. Atsumu drifted to sleep while Kita was caressing his hair. Sakusa was confused as to why Atsumu still hasn't checked up on him. It was strange that Atsumu wasn't bothering him. He then messaged Atsumu. Hey, Achu. Are you okay? You're quiet today. But he didn't reply. It went on for a few days. It was like Atsumu was drifting away from his best friend. He tried talking to Atsumu about what the problem was but he always dismissed the topic or he ignores it. In the Wigay and Proud Volleyball players nail polish being applied to fingers. Sparkles. Grubchat. Hey guys. Yahoo. Shut up. Shatakura. Mean. Iwa-chan. I'm just kidding. Red Heart. Hey hey hey. Brew. 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 BR. Stop that. Okay sad pensive face. Atsumu-san how are you? I'm okay. Chibi-chan. You stupid people. Tsuki. Shut up. Yamaguchi. Goman. Tsuki. I actually have some announcement to make. And that better be not stupid. tsukishima K. tsukishima K. Face with rolling eyes. What is it? Ooh or is it some hot teacup without handle? Ooh. There's teacup without handle. Eyes. Yay. Well. Me and Kita are dating. What? Wait what? 
Are you serious? Wait. Captain? Yup. You better take care of my brother. I will. Samu face with big pleading eyes. Shut up. Sakusa's phone was buzzing non-stop. So he quickly opened it and read what Atsumu wrote in the grub chat. Him and Kitta. Dating her ha 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 I'm too late. You really are drifting away from me. I guess you only see me as your best friend. Sakusa did what hurt him the most. He lied behind the screen and wished them congratulations along with everyone. Thank you all for watching again I am so sorry for uploading late, I've been busy and I also have a lot of homeworks to do, I hope you enjoyed this angst, if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and also, if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe to my channel, have a good day.